Phoebe and I'm a fashion designer living and working in South East London. We work a lot with um, decorative textiles in the studio. So for this workshop, we have developed that idea into a paper-based textile that you can use to decorate your room or a party or whatever you want to decorate. Um, and it's this, which is a paper garland. We've been calling it a sunshine garland because we've done it in bright yellows to remind us of the summer light as we go into winter. Um, so to make these garlands, you will need some paper. We use um, a lot of recycled materials in the studio. So for this workshop, we're working with um, scrap paper, so things that have got things, uh, A4 paper that's got things already printed on the back, um, just to reduce waste as much as possible. To you will also need um, something to colour with, so you can use paints, or you can use crayons, or felt tips, um, or any kind of medium crayons, uh, chalk, or um, wax crayons, or anything that you've, you've you've got to hand inks for example um, for the example ones we've used a paint because you get a nice thick coverage of color and it's a bit more um, striking than the coloring pencils but it really works with any medium so you need that you also will need some prick stick or some glue um, some paper scissors and um, a ruler I'm going to be using a pattern master today because that's what we use in fashion studios instead of rulers. But you can use a ruler just as well. Um, and optionally, if you'd like to, you can print the template off beforehand. So this is what the templates look like. Um, but I'm also going to draw, draw them out with you so um, in case you don't have access to a printer. So you can do either way. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's everything that we'll need. <laughs> so I will start with um, drawing the first template. Oh, you'll need a pencil if you're going to do that. <laughs> so to draw the templates to make these, these are what we call the sunshines, um, you will need to start with A4 paper. Obviously, we're using scrap paper that's got stuff on the back just to save on paper. Um, this is what they look like if you print them out. But to draw them, you can start by just folding the A4 paper in half long ways, like this. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. And that gives us a nice middle line. Open it out. If you put it on a nice um, portrait way up along the bottom, if you just mark two centimetres with your ruler and your pencil from the bottom edge and then just draw across so you have a nice two centimetre line. And then we're going to draw four one centimetre lines across the page. So turning the page this way, again marking one centimetre from the edge from this side and joining those up. And one centimetre from the side from the opposite edge. So one centimetre, one centimetre. Draw it together. We've got a line. It really helps um, if you're doing this if you use a sharp, a sharp pencil or a, a fine pen. Then returning back to our um, folded line, we're going to draw um, a one centimetre line either side of that. So marking one centimetre from that folded edge. There we go. And then drawing that together. 
and turn it around. Again, another centimeter. Like so. And then drawing these together. So what you've got now is two symmetrical panels either side of that folded line. What we're going to do now is fill in the lines here, which I call the ladder. <laughs> so to draw the ladder in, we are going to draw, taking our paper to the side again and taking from this two centimetre line, we're going to mark um, one 1.5 centimetre dashes all the way along this side and all the way along this side. And then we're going to draw them together to make this ladder. Um, and I quite like doing jobs like this because they're repetitive and you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And then you can, your mind can just wander off and you can think about other things. So that's um, a basis of a lot of the things that we do in the studio is this repetitive um, uh, mark making or repetitive uh, textile making. So things like knitting or weaving or stitching. Um, so yeah, so 1.5, just 1.5, 1.5, 1 1.5, all the way up this side. So turning the paper around, we're going to start again from our two centimetre line here. And we're going to just draw 1.5 dashes all the way along this edge. So taking it back round again, so the two centimetre gap is at the bottom, we're going to take our ruler and we're going to just draw straight across the page joining the two marks and hopefully they'll all match up and you'll get two nice long ladders. So here we go, just draw across, draw across. So there we go, two ladders. So that's kind of what it looks like if you draw it by hand and if you print it out as a template, it looks a bit like this. Okay, so now we are going to fill in the template. And you can do that um, any way you like. You can do it with paints. Um, you can do it with crayons or felt tips. Um, what I'll do is I'll start with the painted version and, and then that will have time to dry before we go on to the next part of the workshop. So if you're using paints, um, for these what I've done is I've chosen some really bright sunshine yellows. So we've got um, lemon yellows and like more of a buttercup yellow and these are just um, acrylics or watercolours. We could use any old paint that you can get your hands on. Um, I just wanted to choose something that was bright and reminded me of the um, summer sunlight which we're now losing as we go into winter. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit because obviously we're just doing a mini, a mini garland this time. Um, so that's on my buttercup yellow and then this is more of a lemon yellow. And what I found works really well is if you use a really thick um, paintbrush. So if you can find the thickest paintbrush that you can get hold of. Um, you can also use um, smaller ones but you get like more of a finer coverage and because the um, petals, the petals <laughs> or the rays of the sunshine are quite delicate. It works really well if you've got a nice thick bold paint line. It kind of makes a nice balance. So yeah, taking a nice thick brush, take kind of most of the water off but keep some of it on because you want it to be nice and fluid because what we're aiming for is to get these really nice fluid lines like this. Um, so we need it to be a little bit watery, but not too much, too watery because we still want a nice strong colour. So I just dab it on 
like this. Just work the paint into the water. So it's quite, quite fluid, but not too runny. And then I'm just going to go and try and fill in the page with quite expressive lines as much as I can. Maybe I'll just go down that side. So we're kind of aiming to do quite a good amount of coverage, but not too much because we want it to have enough time to dry. Um, so that's kind of the style I've been working with to, um, to make these sort of um, mottled, mottled yellow marks. And I'm just going to put it to dry, so I'm just going to hang it up here. So you can do, if you print it out, you can do a couple of pages like this. Um, so I will show you what it would look like on the um, printed template. So again, not too much water, but not too dry. And just really big expressive lines just to try and fill fill the page with as much colour as we can without soaking it too, too much. So that is a um, more of a lemon yellow version. I'll put this to dry. If you're not using paint and you're using um, something like a crayon or a, um, a felt tip, you can do a different approach where you're filling the page as much as possible. This is an example of a blue one I did with a crayon. So you can see it has quite a different um, look to the painted ones. Um, so with this, because obviously the, the ends of the crayon and the, and the felt tips are much um, finer, what I'm trying to do is fill the page as much as possible. So I will show you how I've been doing that. I'll do it on this page here. So just trying to keep the lines as close together as possible, just to try and get a really um, solid color of yellow, like a block of yellow. So while those are drying, what we can do next is to prepare the joining parts of the chain, so the parts that join all of the sunshines together. So if you are printing out a template, the template will look like this, um, but if you're drawing it, I'll take you through how to do that. So. Again, just taking a scrap piece of A4 paper, we're going to try and use the whole length long side of the paper. Um, what we need for each sunshine that we're going to make, we need to have a two centimetre strip of paper which is going to fasten the sunshine together on the inside. So, for example, I've done four sunshines, so I'm going to need four, four strips. So taking the longest side, the landscape side, again, just drawing two centimetre mark, joining it together with the ruler. And then another one, two centimetres. So all the two centimetre ones will be the centres of my four sunshines. And then to join them together, we're going to use these joinings. And for these, we've just done them quite thin. So we've done them as um, a 1.5. So for four sunshines, you need one, two, three, four, 
five um, of the thinner strips, which we can do on the same piece of paper to save the paper. So for that, we just draw, just adding it on. So 1.5, 1.5. And then add that together. So this takes a little bit of time, but again, it's that nice repetitive job, which I personally really like. <laughs> And just taking your paper scissors, you just cut them out. I'm keeping these without paint on them, just to um, for speed. But you can obviously paint this page as well or color color in so for example these ones would make this bit be yellow so we can do some of these as well so then you'd have yellow on the inside and yellow on the outside So we have five thin ones and five, so five 1.5 and four two centimeters. And then just keep them to the side for now. Over here. Those thin ones. So these are going to be our four sunshines. So next, we're just going to cut them in half. So this is the template one and this is the hand-drawn one. So if you're doing the hand-drawn one, just cut straight down the folded line. Like so, we've got the two ladders. Again, if you're using a template one, you can just go straight down the middle of the dotted line. So, okay, so you've got these four panels. I'm going to choose the one that's the driest, which is this one. Put these to the side for now. Oh, I'll put them over here to dry a bit more. So to make your sunshine, you take your ladder like this, you turn it over so the paint or the drawings on the face down to the table and then you just fold it in half make sure the edges are matching up like that and then what we're going to do is fold this one centimeter strip here up so you can do that by opening it out and folding it this way around so you can see the line That. and then you can open it out and just fold it the other way and then on the other side fold it up so I'm kind of folding it inwards in order to fold it outwards again So you should then have, basically what you want is a sort of T shape and it sort of sits up like that. Um, what you do once you've folded that is you take one of your two centimetre strips and we're going to stick it onto those folded bits like so. So taking your pit stick. I 
use you to sort of push it along the top like this because it means the glue goes look goes less everywhere goes everywhere less so all the way along that. and then we're just going to glue it down onto those one centimetre panels and I press it down really hard and then just make sure it's nice so you get like a nice closed T shape like that and the next thing we do is we're going to cut the ladder all the way down so starting from your two centimetre gap at the end take your scissors just make sure your little flap at the end doesn't get snipped because that's going to be the sort of hinge that brings it all together. So cutting all the way down to the bottom and as you can see you start getting a hinge. So you have this nice hinged fringe. The last bit at the end, you can just cut off. So you have a nice flat tab at the end. And then we just add a bit of glue. Quite a lot of glue, because you want it to be nice and strong. And take the other end and press it down on top of the glue. And then you have sunshine. So you can repeat that with your other panels until you have two or four or six or eight, however long you want to make it. And then to join them together, we go back to our strips that we cut already. So I'm just going to take three of these and we are just going to thread that through the two sunshines like this. And we're just going to secure them together with some glue. Like this. And press down to make it really secure. So you can see that's just how you start linking them together. Um, and then if you want to attach them to something, I find it's quite useful to have the loops on the end as well and then you'd end up looking like this which is a bit longer and you can just keep adding to them make and make them as long as possible if you did them with a big group of friends you could fill the whole ceiling <laughs> so just have fun with them really they're just a really fun uh fun thing to make um if you like repetitive um time consuming making <laughs> and painting thank you